So, hopefully at this point, or well, actually, it doesn't matter, hopefully, you should have already watched the video, right, and got an idea of how to do these problems. In this video, this is a totally optional video that you can watch, but it's just if you didn't quite understand what I did the first time, you can watch this video, and I'll talk you through the rest of the examples on the, on the notes, okay? Okay, so let's take a look at this problem here. Find the length of arc AB. Okay, so radius, diameter, circumference, area. Always do it. Step one. Always write that out. This is a diameter of 12. Okay. I'm doing the length of the arc. Length of the arc is the crust. So I'm going to use the circumference. How much of the circumference do I have? Well, oh, that's highlighted. That's a 120 out of 360. Always out of 360. Reduces down to one third. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Just tack on the pi. I get 4 pi there. Remember, I got the 120 because if I look at this, I can see that this is this slice of pizza is 120 degrees of the of the whole circle. The whole circle is 360. I know I'm using the circumference because it talks about the crust, the length of the arc, the length of the arc that's along the outside. So it's my circumference. That's how I choose which number to use. If I'm doing this one, the length of arc, GHE, radius, diameter, circumference, area. Okay. I'm looking at that shaded one. That has, okay, it's not 100, because 100 is this one right here. It's the rest of it, so it's 260. What's what's left over? It's going to be 260 degrees. I have 360. And we're doing the length, so that's again the crust. The crust is 24 pi. Reduce this, they can both be divided by 2. 12 times 24 is 288 over 13. 288 cannot be divided by 13. I'm just going to double check. No, it's a decimal. We're just going to leave it that way. So there's our answer. Okay. Again, length of the arc, you use the crust. The 260, right? This arc is not, the 100 is on the other side, so it's what's left over. So I did 360 minus 100. That's where the 260 comes from. The whole thing's 360. I already have 100 there. Okay. And I put that over 360, that, that angle, over 360 times the, um, times the circumference. Okay. Let's try example three. I kind of wrote this out before. All right, let's finish it. Okay. Radius, diameter, circumference, area. Radius is given. Diameter is twice that. Circumference is pi times diameter. Area is pi r squared. Okay. I'm doing the area, so I'm going to use this one right here. This is shaded part. is 260 degrees out of 360 degrees. Right? Again, 260 coming from the whole thing's 360. I have 100 here. That's what's left over. Reduce. Okay. 12 times 144 is 1728. It does not, it cannot be divided by 13. Right? You can put in your calculator where you can trust me, because the reason I know it doesn't is I know that neither 12 nor 144 can be divided by 13, so the answer can't be. Okay, example four here. For each problem, sketch and label each sector, as in the example. Right? Find the area and arc length of a sector with a radius of 12 and, in, and a 60 degree arc. Your circle 60 degrees less than 90 so right, and this is a radius is 12 okay since the radius is 12 and our diameter is 24 the circumference is 24 pi and the area is 144 pi okay if we're gonna do the area of the sector okay that's talking about the amount of pizza the amount of pizza that comes from the area so I'm going to use 144 pi. How much of the pizza do I have? Well, I have 60 degrees out of 360. If 
I reduce that, that gives me one sixth. So I have one sixth of the pizza. One forty four divided by six. Oops, I had the wrong one. Twenty four. Oh, it has feet there, so I'll put feet. So this one, this one had a label, so I had to add that in. When I'm doing arc length, the same problem. Arc length, the arc length is the crust. Okay. If you highlight it on there, like here's the arc length. Oh, that's the crust of my pizza. Okay, so that means, again, I'm doing one-sixth of the pizza. I could have written 60 over 360, but I've already reduced that fraction. One-sixth of 24 pi. 24 divided by 6 is 4 pi feet. So I'm going to go back and put feet squared on that one. Okay. Find the area and arc length of a sector with a radius of 12. And 45. Okay, 45 again is pretty small. So it's a radius of 12. Diameter is 24. Circumference 24 pi. Area. 144 pi. Okay, air sector, that's the amount of pizza. So I'm going to use a 144 pi. 45 out of 360. What if I told me? Oh, we know this from the beginning, that's 1 8th. 144 divided by 8 is 18 with a pi label, feet, square feet, because it's it's the area. Arc length. Arc length is the crust. The crust is 24 pi. We know we have 1 eighth because we just figured that out. 1 eighth of 24 pi. 24 divided by 8 is 3 pi. 3 pi feet. Okay. Let's see. Example 5. Find the radius of a sector with an area of 3 pi. Okay, so the so this one tells us this is 3 pi square centimeters, and the arc is 30 degrees. Okay. So, okay. We need to find the radius, so we don't know the radius. So that's a, this that's not really going to help us. So we know we have 30 degrees over 360 degrees. Okay. And we're doing, this is the area. So I'm going to just put it A for area equals 3 pi. So let's figure out what the area is, and then we can get the other information. If I reduce my fraction, 1 12th, so the, I can multiply both sides by 12, so the area is 36 pi. Oh great, now we have our area. Okay, so what did I do instead? Instead of having the area, I'm figuring out what the area is. Just working backwards here. I knew what the area of the sector was. I knew what the answer needed to be, so I just figure out what the area needs to be. So this tells me that we have 1 12th. So 1 12th of the whole area is 3 pi. So that means the whole thing has to be 36 pi. I'm just plugging in a different spot. Now that the area is 36 pi, I can figure out my radius is 6. Because remember, area is pi r squared. So that's radius must have been 6. Oh, that's all I need. Radius of the sector. 6 centimeters. Okay, use these examples to do your best you can on the homework.